Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for thought for the night devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the most lovely name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We need to remind ourselves this evening that God whom we serve is a God of love and He's an ever faithful God. Because God loves us, He has given us wonderful promises and He is faithful to fulfill every promise that He has given us in our life. So we need to trust God this evening, never doubt the faithfulness of God, and we can experience the abundance of His blessing in our life. For our devotion this evening, let us read Psalm 92 and verse 2. I'm reading it from the New International Version, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. When God revealed Himself to Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 34 and verse 6, the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. He is a God who abounds in love and He's faithful in His character. Now, what is to proclaim the love of God in the morning? When I begin the day, I need to know that God loves me. God did not love me because there was something special in me. He just loved me and that's it. Because I've been created in His very image and likeness. One of the deepest needs of the human heart is to be loved. Husbands and wives desire to be loved by each other. Children desire to be loved by their parents, and it's also the other way around. Friends desire that they be loved by their friends, but sometimes this love fails. This love changes according to the circumstance, and people get hurt. But we need to know that the love of God never fails, nor ever changes. Declaring God's love in the morning at the beginning of a new day assures you of who you are. You are a child of God. You are loved and accepted by the God of the universe. He has loved you with an everlasting love. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His love. As parents, we love our children and we care for them. In the same way, it is with our Heavenly Father. He loves us so much. And He is not a God who will do us any harm. But He is a good God. God's love has removed every barrier by His death on the cross of Calvary. So that I can enjoy a wonderful fellowship with Him. His love makes me know that I am a new creation. All things have been passed away. All things are become new and I don't stand in condemnation. God proved His love towards each one of us that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. If you ever wonder if God loves you, look to the cross. The cross is God's way of saying I love you. With His arm outstretched, He says, I love you this much. To know that God loves you should help you to go on and everything is against you. Paul suffered so much for Christ's sake. It is the love of God in his life that made him to endure and not to give up. To know that you are loved by God should fuel your joy and motivate you to serve Him, to live for Him every moment of your life, to make you live like Him and be grateful in spite of the difficult situations that you go through in life. And it should fill your love for Him because you are being loved by Him. When we begin the day meditating on God's love, we need to end it by proclaiming His faithfulness. Because all through the day, it was God's faithfulness that did see us through. When we faced the storms of life, He was our anchor. It was the Lord God with us that did see us through every stormy situation, every fiery trial that we came through in life. When the enemy came in like a flood to destroy us, the Spirit of the Lord lifted up His standard against Him. He lifted up a banner of victory for each one of us. When people brought evil schemes to destroy us, it was God's faithfulness that changed all their evil into a blessing for us. When we stood before a closed door, it was the Lord God who opened up those closed doors. He removed every hindrance and made a way for each one of us. But there seemed to be no way. He wonderfully protected, preserved and met supplied all our needs. When we faced threatening situations in our family, when the family peace was disturbed, it was God's faithfulness that restored back the peace because He is the Prince of Peace. God's faithfulness reminds us that He never changes. The Lord says, I am the Lord and I change not. His love never changes. His mercy never changes. And we can say, Great is your faithfulness, O God. God's faithfulness was our hope. The faithfulness of God should give us a reason this evening to pause and to praise Him. Because no matter what we went through this day, God was with us. He did not abandon us. He did not forsake us. Because He has promised that He will never leave us, nor forsake us. He did not stop caring for us. Because He is a God that cares for us. When there was none to comfort us, it was the presence of God that did comfort each one of us and strengthen us. When you were burdened with the cares of life, 
God did uplift you and encourage you. When you felt like giving up, God's strength enabled each one of us to go through those difficult moments in life. Have you ever felt that you've been rejected or abandoned? The Lord says to you this evening in a very special way, My child, you are precious to me. I have engraven you in the palm of my hands. No matter what you are going through this evening, remember, I am there for you. And because I am there for you, I will hold on to your hand and I will lead you all the way through. You may be going through difficult times in life, but remember, I, the Lord thy God who has called you, is a faithful God. Rest in my love and faithfulness and you can go through every storm and difficult situation that you are going through at this very moment. Dear child of God, be thou encouraged this evening. God loves you too much and He is faithful to bring you through every difficult moment that you are going through in life. Commit to God everything and you can experience God doing wonderful things in and through your life. So praise God for His love and faithfulness every moment of your life. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.